And it has to be 28 minutes and 30 seconds. That's all the time you and I have together for a program that's going to change your life. Yes, a program that is going to remind you of something that you know, but you don't pay any attention to. Let's see if we can find an opening here. Year after that, it becomes unlike less sure of what happens. So the prospect of your working for chat with commercial did very, very well on Channel 6, Broadcast Television. Hi folks, you've heard of the TV show 60 Minutes? Well, the name of this show is 30 Seconds. The next time you go to the supermarket, will you bypass the meat counter and go to the frozen food cases and load up your grocery cart with veggie meat? Hamburger, chicken, turkey, ham. 89 years old, no doctors, no medicine, and my can is vegan too. Hi folks, you've heard of the TV show 60 Minutes? Well, the name of this show is 30 Seconds. The next time you go to the supermarket, will you bypass the meat counter and go to the frozen food cases and load up your grocery cart with veggie meat, hamburger, chicken, turkey, ham. 89 years old, no doctors, no medicine, and my cat is vegan too. This year, so. Now, I get the impression that you really are no longer a resident of Malaysia. Yeah, I don't really feel as much like it anymore. Well, we made a second one, folks. Yeah. That isn't really what I came to talk to you about today. But we made a second one, Vegan 2. That was Vegan 1. And the second one has this one. It's a snowman suit. And it's the joke is, uh, Hi folks, computers are in the Bible. Eve said to Adam, do you want an apple too? And the rest of the commercial was the same, except that we had to say, 90 years old, no doctors, no medicine. And my cat is vegan too. Well, listen, here's what we did. On that part, my cat is vegan too, we had the whole screen filled with dot com. Dot com cat. And she is so endearing. And she's looking up at somebody to give her some vegan kibble. And the negotiations for the airtime of that show, they were well addressed. They were very skillfully managed. Uh, they were adroitly done. Uh, Channel 10, Albany, wanted $250 for a 30-second airtime announcement, commercial. $250. Well, uh, what's that for? That's for June. How about we move down to the fourth week of June, June 25th, when the audience declines? 
because of summertime. Fewer people watch TV. I'll make you an offer. Five of them for a thousand dollars. No, 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 we can't do that. And for the August buy, when I think the airtime will be worth about only nine hundred dollars, I'll give you the order and for the August one also. Give it to you instead of channel six. Days went by. It mulched. Yeah, we'll take that offer. So that's June 25th across the board, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'll get you the new commercial. I can't find it on the electronics bench. I have to wait until Gregory comes and he'll play it for you. But that close up of dot com filling the screen. Now, I want to talk to you about April 17th. That's Earth Day. That's a very important day of the year. In fact, it might be the most important. It might be even more important than Christmas. Without Earth Day, there wouldn't be a Christmas. It's on April the 17th. And you look at the Earth, and you think of its wonder, and you think of its spin, its 24-hour spin, that sets your clock, that tells you everything to do, and the gravity and the rock, and two-thirds water. You wouldn't want it to be all water. We need land to live on. North America, South America, Africa, Antarctic, Australia, Europe, Asia, the Arctic. We need that land to live on. And what else? The beauty that comes out of that land, particularly here now in April, in May, in June. The snowdrops, the crocus, the daffodils, the jonquils, the tulips, the pansies, the forsythia, the magnolia, the lilacs, and my beloved dandelions. How I love them. Are they a lesson in stamina and persistence and acuity, which is one of our words today. And it's such a complicated, complex blossom. They have so many petals and they close up at night and they open up in the morning. Grand creation. Okay, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something that your conscience has been telling you for a long, long time and you've got to get to do it. You've got to go alone. You've got to have a sanctuary and you've got to listen to the voice inside of you. The soul. The soul is the God inside of you. It's the God inside of me. It's the God inside of Dotcom. You have to listen to the soul. And you have to do what that soul tells you to do. That scares you, doesn't it? You're afraid you're going to have to give up something. Well, let me tell you, anything that you give up is bad for you. And that old ego and that old selfishness, it's a hoax. It's a scam. It's a sham. It promises you this and this and that, but it does not deliver. The only happiness there is, folks, is helping others. Helping others, we enjoy it. Satisfaction guaranteed. We got rid of the ego. Selfishness is not allowed. We want you to have it. Peace that passes understanding. Selfishness we got rid of. Ego we do not allow. Helping others we enjoy it. Satisfaction guaranteed. That's what you will find is the answer. Then you will be happy. And then you will have, what's the song? Breathe on us, breath of God, till we are holy thine, until this earthly part of us glows with thy spirit divine. I know that you've always wanted to do that. 
Now, how are you going to do it? Now, 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 don't procrastinate. You go to your sanctuary and you spend your time alone with God until you're filled with that Holy Spirit and with that joy of helping others. No matter what, when all is said and done, the only thing that really mattered is how did you treat others? Prayer. People are always saying, say a prayer for me, Glendora. Say a prayer for him. Say a prayer for him. Pray for us. To you right now, I say this prayer. May the peace of God which passes all understanding rule R-U-L-E rule in your heart and mind. May the peace of God which passes all understanding rule in your heart and mind. Who said it? Paul. Philippians 4, 7. May the peace of God which passes all understanding rule in your mind and heart. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Psalm 118, I think. One can't be too sure. Um, well, last program, I showed you hats 1 to 10 from the collection of 50. These are hats 11 to 12. This is a broad brim. Oh. We have to take down the snowman. Uh, the lawyer said, I want a new trial on the basis of new evidence. And the judge says, what's the new evidence? And the lawyer said, I just found out my client has another $10,000. Now another broad brim at the opposite end of the electromagnetic spectrum. The ideal contract for a lawyer, folks, is words too big to pronounce and print too tiny to read. Pink fedora. Now we got this uh, 27 minutes, 28 minutes and 30 seconds. I don't know, I'll take a chance. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll take a chance. Uh, another broad brim. The world's favorite color right now. Uh, no, honey, I set you wrong. But thank you very, very much. That's sweet of you. Purple. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, said the lawyer. The bricks in the wall are loose. We have a great case. We will sue Mother Goose. Now this is a hat with buttons sewed on all the way around. That's fun. You know now that I have all my buttons? A, uh, there was a collision of two cars 
When the third car pulled up, and a man got out, and he said, I saw the whole thing happen. I'll take either side. I'm a lawyer. This is a very, very well manufactured hat, a good piece of handiwork. I admire that. I admire stitching. The stitching in this costume, the stitching in a pair of socks. I just admire that so. And you can take a string, crochet string, right, on a ball, and you can do this with it and this and this and this, and you end up with a beautiful blouse. Okay. The lawyer says, I'll take your case on a retainer basis. That'll be $3,000, and it entitles you to two questions. $3,000, two questions. Isn't that expensive? Perhaps. What's your second question? What is this? A future? A future? Fedora? A future fedora? Yeah. Now here's a pink one. As I say, these are hats 1 to, no, 11 to 20. Next week I'll try to show you 21 to 30. Then we'll do 31 to 40 and 41 to 50. Now this is a cockney hat. A little British hat. I think I love the shape of it. It's kind of anomalous. A man uh, came home from work and he drove his car into the driveway and here's his five-year-old daughter standing in the middle of the driveway and she looks very, very perturbed. And he says, what's the matter, honey? And she says, I've had nothing but trouble with your wife all day long. Now this is the, this hat was made in Danbury, Connecticut. The famous hat. What's the, uh, what's the name of the famous hat company? And of course they moved out. And, uh, but it's a lady's hat. You thought they always made men's hats, but they made of this lady's hat, and it is a fedora. And it's old, but I can't find another one. And if you ever find a red derby, or a royal blue derby, I used to have a royal blue derby, and I used to have a red derby. If you ever find one, will you please buy it, send me a receipt, I'll pay you double for it. Or triple, whatever you want. Okay. I was supposed to tell you the rest of the jokes, first of all. You've had the Bible and you've had the, our song, or hymn, and then I was supposed to pay you the jokes. says, it gives me a grand and glorious feeling to dispense legal advice. And his client says, that's right, you give him a grand and he feels glorious. I guess we, we've done enough on lawyers, haven't we? If you can't get a uh, lawyer who knows the law, and for heaven's sakes, get one who knows a judge. And in the law school, they teach the lawyers to, if you know the law, you hammer the law. If you know the facts, you hammer the facts. And if you don't know either, you hammer the table. 
All right. So big event just uh, this week was cleaning the house. Cleaning Happy House 3. Uh, Gregory does the sweeping. And then I move the furniture in and out for him. And then I come through and I mop it. I mop the God room, the God meditation, the sanctuary that I want you to have. And the work desk, and then the electronics bench, and the living room, and the bedroom, and the kitchen, and the inside hallway. And while I'm mopping, Oh, first of all, he shakes all of the little rugs, takes them all out and shakes them, puts them on the rail and gets the dirt all out of them. And then he vacuums the hat room where these 50 hats are, well, 40 of them, 10 of them are over there. And that's three rugs, and he does a beautiful job of that. Then I clean the bathroom. And then we have to clean the vacuum cleaner. There are five parts. I think it's a wonderful vacuum cleaner. It's a Bissell or whatever. Maybe it's not a Bissell. But anyway, you take it all apart. There's five pieces that come out. And you empty unbelievable amount of dust and dirt. What is dirt and dust? What is it? We return. Mommy, do I come from dust and return to dust? Yes. Why? Well, I just looked under the bed. Somebody's coming or going. Uh, and he emptied all that out of the container, of the cylinder, and then I washed all of the parts. And it takes them five days to dry, because there's a sponge in there and a couple of other things, a couple of sponges. So that was a big thing this week, cleaning, uh, and the uh, Vegan 2 commercial, and having dot com at the end of it three seconds of dot com, looking right into the screen. Boy, that's nice. Well, what else? Mother Goose, down by the Valacia Kill. You know, when we, when we think about the great earth and we think about the water and the big oceans and the big seas and the big rivers and the big uh, lakes, and then we have the little Valacia Kill in our backyard. And who has arrived there to take up residence? But Mother Goose and five little goslings. And behind her, Popper Gander. He's a gander and he's a popper, so I call him Popper Gander. That was a big event. The museum is in such good shape. We go through it and go through it and go through it, and we're and make it part of our life, the contents of the, I think it's 200, box, 200 boxes, copy paper boxes, and they're all painted beautiful pastel colors, green, pink, blue, cantaloupe, yellow. So that's part of our life, and keeping going through the index. Oh, the hat room. The hat room has nine columns, and each column is four drawers four copy paper boxes that Debbie uh, brings us from uh, the school in Pittsfield. They, they throw out the boxes, but now the boxes have a new life. And they're all painted white, and they look so nice, and I made the index. I know what's in each box and all ten columns. That was a big event. Will you call me up? and tell me the big events in your life. They're probably a lot bigger than mine. And tell me all the people and all the animals and all the plants that you helped. Will you do that, please? And Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Anointed One, Jesus the Christ, 
said in Matthew 13, verse 46, he said this very interesting thing. He's talking to you, okay? And he says, there was a man who found a priceless jewel. Very, very, very expensive. And this man went out and sold everything else that he had. Everything. He either sold it or gave it away to buy this expensive jewel. Tell me, what is that expensive jewel? Come on, tell me, what is that expensive jewel? It's helping others. You went out and sold everything you had to buy that expensive jewel. Now he calls it a pearl. No, a pearl is an irritation in an oyster. That's very uncomfortable and gets harder and harder and is cruelty to animals. So, and think how many oysters you would have to buy to have a pearl necklace. No. But it is a very expensive, very expensive jewel. Tiffany's biggest. Okay. I think we're coming up to 28.30. Come thou all happiness. Helping the world you go. Helping all glorious. Or all victorious. Caring and sharing. Gone is the selfishness. Ego is out. Now. May. The. God of peace. Sanctify you. Completely. Through and through. First Thessalonians 5, I think. I don't know for sure. May the God of peace himself sanctify you completely through and through. A prayer for you. May the God of peace himself sanctify you completely holy through and through. Sandy, I'm coming.